So we're kind of in a bit of a pickle. We actually just decided to not go with Jit Rock in the end. Fashioning a long poking device. That's not a good wedge. So you a good wedge. <laughs> Meet our family. Don't you get that? Don't you get it? We've been living in a caravan while we build our own home here along the south coast of Western Australia. We're basically aspiring to live a more simplistic lifestyle so that we have more time for each other and all of the fun things that we enjoy doing in life. If you'd like to journey along with us, please subscribe, kick back and enjoy this episode of Somewhere Out There. This. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is going to be, why do I do this with my hands? Cause I'm Italian, that's why. This video is going to include us trying to decide what to clad the house with internally. We were originally going to use chip rock, but that became an issue. I think I explain it a little bit more in the video, so I won't say too much more. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's getting real exciting. I don't know if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen yesterday we did like a test pour, like a test slab for our concrete bench tops. It turned out absolutely amazing. I'm super excited to do that. Um, yeah, I'll put our Instagram in the description box below if you want to follow along. Also, just want to say thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to our channel recently. Um, those of you who are leaving comments, I love, you know, chatting to people and hearing about your journeys as well. Um, I've had a few people kind of comment and ask how much it's costing us, how we went about the process, blah, 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 blah. And I, I think once it's done, we will film like a video on that the cost when it's finally finished we know exactly how much it's costed us um and yeah the process of becoming an owner builder in australia or in western australia in particular every shire is different but the actual owner builder stage is pretty straightforward actually so yeah if that's something you're interested in seeing just let us know um yeah and then pretty soon we'll be in our house so thank you so much again for all of your support we really do appreciate it Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you so much again. Love you guys. Enjoy. Mess? Are you cleaning? Oh, wow. Oh. I love that our concrete floor is getting scratched before we move in. Mess. Yes, mess. Thank you so much for that. You're so kind. <clears throat> Dane is in town today working again. Um, un oh, snap. Unhouse related. So Vander and I are trying to be as productive out here as possible as much as we can do, which <laughs> isn't a lot because pretty useless when it comes to all of this stuff. But um, we're going to be working on these doors. Um, so these are Moranti. And I have to try and make them look like Jara. And we ended up using this color called mahogany. Um, that's the actual sealant. There is a primer. So there's the mahogany primer. So we have to prime it first and then leave it 24 hours. Then we seal it once, leave it 24 hours and then seal it again. So these doors have already been hung. Been hung. Obviously Dane's um, hung both of them and he's fitted both of the um, handles and locks, etc., so that we could see it was all working. And then we've taken it off so that I can oil this underside first, um, like the hinge side, the bottom and the top, just the edges. And then once they're all primed and sealed, um, we'll put the door back on and I'll do the rest with it being hung because it's gonna be much easier to do it that way rather than having to wait for it to dry on the underside and then flip the door over.
good fire, babe. Yeah, well done, Rach. <laughs> fire building skills are definitely... Uh... Um, I wasn't trying that hard, if you must know. I thought we were just having a little fire for a little time. That a little fire. There's a huge log on there. He'll burn for hours. Oh, I trust you. Good morning. I um, have been a bit dodgy with filming, but basically um, a bit of stuff has happened. Long story short, our jeep rocker is flat out and he can't get to our house to flush it for potentially three months, which is a real downer for us. It's kind of annoying. We have talked about Dane flushing it himself, but those of you in the building industry or who have built a house or I know who even notices those things would know that, um, sorry, I'm just looking at Vanda because he's in the front garden going for a, you probably can't even see him, going for a bushwalk all the way over there. Um, yeah, so you would know that flushing isn't the easiest job. It's time consuming if you don't have the right tools and if you don't do it well, then it looks bad, really noticeable. Um, our old house, the ceilings weren't flushed very well and it drove Dane absolutely bonkers. He hated it. So he's not too sure about doing it, on it by himself, basically. Sorry, I just had to go and help Vanda in the bushes. Anyway, so yeah, he's not too keen on doing it himself. We want it to look great. He's put all this effort into making the house look really nice, do everything at, you know, really good quality. Um, the last thing he wants to do is rush the jeep rocking or even if we took our time and we didn't do a good job, it would be pretty disappointing. So we're kind of in a bit of a pickle. We are in the thick of winter now. Technically we're not actually, it's only just coming up to the end of June. Actually, it's our eighth year wedding anniversary today, um, which is, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> so we had a quick visit up to Perth to quickly just see family and also get in on the end of financial year sales. <laughs> Are you trying to steal my thunder? Are ya? Yeah. Thought so. So yes, yeah, so we got these. Really exciting. I'll do a bit more of a kind of update on what we got when I unbox it all, I guess. But yeah, Westinghouse oven, Westinghouse cooktop, and Electrolux range hood. Basically, we ended up finding um, some guys that might be able to do our jeep rocking for us, um, but there's no guarantee. So we actually just decided to not go with Jeep Rock in the end. It was going to cost $2,000 a day just for them to flush. Um, and even though our house is really small, it's not overly straightforward. Like the ceilings aren't your standard ceilings. We've got that massive wall in the staircase. Um, even upstairs isn't a standard ceiling. So even though it's a small house, they said it's not straightforward. So it would take you know, up to a week, maybe even longer just to flush it. And that was gonna cost $2,000 a day, um, even with Dane screwing all the sheets up and stuff. So, I mean, you can do the math, $2,000 a day for a week plus is a lot of money and definitely more than we budgeted for Jit Rock in general. So we've decided to not go down that route and we have decided to, <laughs> instead of Jit Rock, we are going to use a product called Easy Craft. It can join off the stud. We do need to just put in extra noggins where, where they're needed. We are going like an Easy Craft V groove. So every 100 mils, there'll be like a V groove on the ceilings. So it'll be stripy going that way. And for this back wall, has a feature wall, plus that wall up in the stairs because we thought it would be weird to stop it there. Everything else on the walls is going to be what they call an easy panel. So every 1200 mils, there will basically be like a, is it still a V groove? Yeah, small. Like a very small V groove. So it'll kind of look like um, panels of ply, 
I guess, but large ones. Um, I don't think the walls will look as nice as Watch It Brock would, but I think the ceilings are going to look really cool with the, the V-groove in them. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, they do a wet area one as well. We're doing um, floor to ceiling tiles, so that wasn't an issue, but the ceiling will be like a wet area um, easy panel. So that is more expensive materials wise um, than Jitrock. This cost us $8,000 in materials. That is including the glue and nails. Um, it's not that bad. And considering Dane can do all the work himself, it means that we don't have to pay labor. Bunnings picking up our easy craft panels and getting some villa board for the bathrooms, etc. Villa board. They are our panels out there. It's coming on a forklift to go onto the trailer. It's very exciting. It's very expensive and very exciting. morning everyone it is six degrees here this morning apparently I feel like it feels a bit warmer than that to be honest the Sun is out but it is cold I reckon we had one of our coldest nights last night <laughs> what you doing the ceilings are all finished except for that section because we're waiting for the aircon guy we managed to do the bathroom um, at the beginning of the week, Vanda's room was already done. I don't know if I got footage of it though. And then we've done the ceiling up there as well. So today we're going to do Vanda's wall, that wall, and maybe start on this big wall. Pretty sure you guys haven't seen this wall finished because yeah. I've been at work and this wall yeah. is also finished, which I'm also pretty sure you haven't seen. And our room is pretty much finished, which I think you also haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, so this is our room. Pretty much all done. Dane will do this after he's finished um, all the rooms downstairs. Vander's still got just the one wall done, so I think he wants to basically get all of it done out here first. That wall, like the northern wall, right to windows, um, is mostly billboard because it's where all of our cabinets are going. So it's only going to be the top section, easy craft, 
panels, easy panels like that one, the flat ones. So that one won't be too difficult. I think he wants to do all the easy craft panels first and then he'll do the villa board. There's also some villa board just on that wall because the kitchen goes around there. The bathroom will obviously all be villa board because it's um, tiled floor to ceiling. And the Vander's room, yeah, he's only got the one all done. So there's still a fair bit more to do in there. We brought home a sample. Sorry. We brought home a sample of our tiles today. So these are the ones going in our bathroom. They're going to be um, just stacked on top of each other like that, literally throughout the whole bathroom, floor to ceiling. And then our kitchen. We've got, um, just for the splashback, we've got these really cool tiles. Um, kind of hard to see, yeah, you can kind of see they've got a bit of a speckle. What exactly am I filming here? How to make a universal join out of a electrical tape. Oh my God. So that's an extension bit, and that's a tech bit. Uh, the extension bit was too long for me to get the drill in between the studs. So <laughs> I just put my tech bit in my gun and then spun some tape around it and it works. <laughs> Did that just do it? Have a look on the other side of the wall. Oh, he's up the ladder. Oh. Come and help as well. Okay. Hop down. Can't climb up the ladder without mummy's help. Oh yeah, we're through. Yeah. I see the spade bit. And um, got lots of things out over here because getting ready to do the kitchen. Got our bathroom tiles I was showing yesterday. We've got all of our paints. Definitely looking at a warm white. Really liking the look of this one. We're gonna attempt, we'll, we'll paint a bunch of these on a big piece of easy panel and put it up all around the place. But yeah, definitely something from this top row, I'd say. Um, that one looks a bit yellow, but yeah. That is actually the one on the front of this um, brochure, for sure. Yeah. So it's white, but it's a warm white. Definitely not for the cool whites these days. We definitely did a lot of cool tones in our last house and just think that this house, the way it faces and everything, will look really nice with the more warmer tones. Not as warm as what's already on there, like that's obviously just primed. That, to give you a bit of a comparison, is around about um, that colour. Doesn't look like it on the walls, but it's about that colour. So this one up here is obviously a lot whiter than this one. So we've got... Um, one of these guys. So it's basically just like a water controlling thing. Is that what it is? Water temperature? Water temperature. Yes, yeah, water temperature control. So yeah, so it's great for when you have kids and stuff. You just chuck them in the shower and they can't burn themselves because you can set like set a maximum temperature. So we've got one of those in the bathroom and one of them in the kitchen. So if Van is finished in the shower or whatever, and I need to do dishes, I can change it back. Um, we've had them for ages, but forgot to run the cable for them to the hot water system, which is over here. Obviously, we've already sheeted that wall, that part of the ceiling, and now that wall. So Dane's had to use the data cable, which is the blue cable on the wall as like a pull through. What do you like call it? Draw cord. Like a draw cord, yeah, to pull the cable through. So we got it all the way through there. Now it's here, this grey one, and now he needs to obviously put it through the one that he just drilled. And that will be the one for the bathroom. The one for the kitchen isn't a problem because we obviously haven't cluttered that wall. But yeah, he was a bit bummed when he found out. He discovered them. Thankfully, we were doing kitchen stuff because he only really discovered them in Vanda's room. These guys. Yeah. Completely forgot that we had them. We'd bought them quite a while ago. So they were just sitting in there and he went in there to look at the range hood and realized that we had those. So thankfully we didn't work all day tomorrow. Can you imagine if we'd done that whole wall? We wouldn't have been able to put it in. We would have been stuffed. That would have been it. So yeah, lucky.